Hi guys, again, this is Antonin Chan and you're watching my podcast. So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you... We'll be talking about mental health and why it is important. People are actually being, you know, open about this topic. It used to be a taboo in our society, especially in my country. I'm from the Philippines. And some adults still don't believe that mental health exists. They were like, oh, when you're experiencing anxiety or depression, they were like saying, it's all in your mind. You're just so inerte, nagi inerte ka, something like that. You're just making things up, which is not true. If you're watching this video and you're not taking good care of your mental health, please take a deep breath and think about yourself. Think about what you're thinking every single day. Think about what's going on in your mind. What's your feeding your mind? Because what you think can become part of who you are. And it's important that we filter our thoughts. We filter what we think of ourselves. What we are thinking in general. Because we might not know it, but subconsciously it affects us in so many ways. And mental health is something we should take good care of. Just as how we take good care of our physical health. And yeah, for the past few months, I've been like ignoring myself. I'm like, mm, I have to do certain things to please other people, to do what the society wants me to do. But it doesn't work that way, you know. You have to think of yourself sometimes. It's a necessity to take good care of ourself. And then one of that way is taking good care of our mental health. So my previous video is a short trip and a small resort in Lebanon, Camarina Sur. It's, at, it's called Tinandayagan Resort. It gives me a peace and I experience a relaxation that I haven't experienced for three months of working, you know. I've been so focused of doing what I'm ought to do and end up ignoring what my mental health needs. You know and it's important that we set aside and a lot time for ourselves to reflect on what's really happening in our lives you know like even it doesn't mean that um just because i am saying that traveling can help you guys improve your mental health doesn't mean you have to go abroad or you have to go to a faraway place just to travel because at the moment I don't have the means to do it, to do that. I'm still saving for my future. So all I can afford is a short trip and nearby towns and you know just near places here, you know. And yeah, it helped me a lot. It it has actually give me a space to think of myself and also journaling journaling helps me express myself more and helps me learn what i want in life and how can i do it without you know forfeiting <laughs> my mental health <laughs> without you know not thinking of my well-being in general actually I don't know there when you lack motivation in certain things that's when your mental health deteriorate also when you 
ruin some relationships with your loved ones. You feel like there's something wrong with you. So there are like a lot of stuff I've been reading online on how you can take good care of your mental health. I think one of it is, yeah, moving, it, traveling, go for a walk in nature. Like, sometimes you have to get out of your current situations to feel yourself, to feel your mind, and be mindful of what you think. I'm, I'm so pessimist for the past few years because I feel like I'm a fucking failure, you know? Like, I can't do certain things right i feel like i'm so disappointed in myself and that's a fact <sighs> i need to take that breath I just woke up and oh my gosh I just realized a lot of things are so bad in my life but it's okay this too shall pass uh, I don't want to be so emotional about what's going on in my mind because I don't want people to pity me mm. that's one thing that you know makes you realize that oh my mental health is deteriorating I need to seek a therapist. 